Hello, everybody, and welcome to a very special episode of Pottywood. And I say that all the time, but this time I really, really mean it. Because if you just look behind us, this is our 100th episode. Big thank you from me and Andy and all our guests that we'll be introducing in a minute for joining us here and whether or not you got into Pottywood from the audio episodes way back in the day or you've just got into the video episodes recently, thank you for being here and joining us. I am one of your hosts, Steve Hester, and joining me, as always, from the sunny, sunny capital of filmmaking, Los Angeles, is... Well, that would be me. Andrew Roger Carson. <laughs> like, can you believe it? I come out here to like join in the strikes and everything and support all of our fantastic guests that we have had over the last two, nearly three years of doing nearly the show. Three. Yeah. And uh, and the strike goes and ends. It's typical. <laughs> I know. Yeah, you should have gone a couple months ago. That would have been helpful. Yeah. <laughs> Seriously. I'm, I'm saving up the money <laughs> Maybe to get out the here. Luck, good luck charm, right? I am. Yeah, I am good good with but yes, uh, we, we have been promoting, we said for our 100th episode, we were once again going to come back and do our now famous Partywood music movie quiz. Now, last time we did it was Valentine's Day, where mm-hmm. the, uh, the Partywood quiz overlord Richard Mirish yet again demolished every single person on the quiz. Yes, yeah. that's why he's not here. We've got that to give someone else a chance. <laughs> yes. Yes. So the winning team from today will be going on to face Richard Mirish, Tommy Hinckley, and Kate Nichols on a future episode. Uh, so that'll be interesting enough. So without further ado, let's meet our teams. The captain of Team One. He's an Australian born director, transplanted to Hollywood, and the man behind Highlander, The Shadow, Teen Wolf, and the first ever director to appear on MTV with Video Killed the Radio Star. Returning all the way from episode 14, it's Russell Mulcahy! And on his team. Making his first appearance on Bodywood, he's a film, TV, and documentary director and editor behind Year of the Living Dead. All the way from Brooklyn, it's Rob Coons. She's a Bodywood All Star, appearing in our first episode, our 50th episode, and now here for episode 100. An actress, singer, and voiceover artist who you may have seen in Parker but are destined to see in the upcoming From the Hamptons to Harlem. It's Becca Marks! And captain of Team 2. She's a world-traveled actress, TV host, and now a producer, star of The Surprise Visit, and one of the happiest guests we've ever had. Back from episode 79, it's Sarah Hennessy. And on her team, he's the first ever guest to appear in a two-part episode back in episodes 35 and 36. He's a writer, director, producer, and artist behind movies such as Midnight Run, The Comeback Trail, and The Ritual Killer. It's the one and only George Gallo. And finally, the first ever production manager to join us at Pottywood. Working behind the scenes on productions of Grease Live, Hairspray Live, a woman of many behind the scenes talents, it's a huge welcome to Holly Titchin. Now that we've met our teams, let's get on with the quiz. So, Uh, We are doing this episode to raise awareness of seasonal affective disorder, which is a a very real thing that many people are hearing a lot more of nowadays. It's one of the uh, most predominant uh, depressions currently out there. And obviously it's been a very distressing year for a lot of people. 
Uh, so we wanted to use this platform today to really just have some fun, provide some laughs during uh, the Christmas season. And to do that, it is the return of the Pottywood quiz. Now, this will be conducted of two rounds and one final quick fire round. So each person gets their own individual questions. There is no conferring, unlike our Valentine's episode where the opposite team were shouting out clues. We're conferring, the yes. And then complaining <laughs> why they lost. <laughs> we're looking at you, Tommy Hinckley. And we will tally up the points at the halfway mark to see who is leading. Then, by the end of the second round, you'll probably find it's a dead heat, <laughs> as usual. And then the final round, it's, it's anything goes. <laughs> Teams, are we ready? Yes. Good luck, Good luck team. Good, Good luck, luck, everyone. Good luck, everyone. <laughs> we start with Russell. Oh, God. <laughs> <laughs> Your question. Team captain. Which holiday do Meg Ryan and Billy Crystal celebrate at the end of When Harry Met Sally? No damn Googling. Good, damn good question. <laughs> <laughs> um, Get off your phone, Russell. <laughs> I can see no, I'm, I'm not. I'm not. I'm not. And you, you know what? Shall I admit this now? You can. Go on. <laughs> I've never seen the film. <gasps> okay. Uh, Take right. a guess. I'll have what she's having. Sorry. <laughs> Thanksgiving. <laughs> when was it, sorry? Thanksgiving. No, it was New Year's Eve. Uh, <laughs> there you go. It's a good stab, but Thank not right. That one. Good start. Okay. I love when people admit they've never seen a film. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Rob. Yes. Your question. Which actor played the lead hero in The Pacifier? <laughs> I don't know that movie. <laughs> <laughs> Do you want to take a guess? These are the easy questions, right? Yeah. yeah. Oh, my goodness. <laughs> oh, boy. Um, Pick any He's not known for his hair. Right. Yeah, no, Bruce. Okay. Something bald hero, uh, Bruce Willis? No, okay. it was Vin Diesel. Oh, okay. Okay. Good guess. <laughs> so. Becca. Hi. Did you go? In the movie Joy, starring Jennifer Lawrence, what item does she invent that results in her becoming a world famous entrepreneur? I might know this if I saw it's the movie. Great. Um, <laughs> I liked it. Is it good? Okay. Yeah. Um, I know it's not Post-it, because that was another nope. movie. <laughs> Post-it. Um, what did she invent? Someone on the team can throw a, a clue if they know. No, you're on your own on this one, Becca. Um, <laughs> so how, so like some... you're, you're swimming. I'll... It's a cleaning device. Yeah. Oh, the vacuum cleaner? No, it was a mop. Oh. <laughs> good, good hint. Good hint. Yes. Good hint. That was a really good hint. Thank you for trying. Okay. <laughs> and of course, Mickey Sarah. Dolenz's mum from The Monkees invented uh, Tipex. That's correct. There you go. Yeah. Sarah. Disney Pixar's The Incredibles is set in which fictional city? Oh, that's a hard one. <laughs> Holly's there like, I know this, I know this. <laughs> I'm trying to remember the name of it. That's the sad part. <laughs> and I love Pixar stuff, but that's one I haven't watched. <laughs> no, that is a tough one. I'm not going to lie. That one is quite tricky. That's that's a hard one. Tough. And I love Pixar. I watch all their, like literally I've watched all their stuff except for The Incredibles. That's so yeah. good. I, I'll, even, I'll even throw you a clue. If if you are getting on a train to go around LA here, you're getting on the... On the Metro? Yeah. Metro... Metro Link? No, it was Metroville. 
Oh. Oh well. <laughs> That was okay. George. Well, now yes. you're going to have to watch it, right? <laughs> yeah. George's question. Rosebud. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> what an incredible guess. Wrong. Okay. What is Bill Murray's occupation in Groundhog Day? He's a newspaper reporter. No. No, he's a weatherman. He's a weatherman. Oh, sorry. <laughs> We did so well. We did so well. <laughs> I, I, I've only seen it a hundred times. Well. <laughs> Holly. It's Groundhog Day. Holly. It's Groundhog Day. Holly. It's Groundhog Day. Again. With what two-word phrase did the media refer to the five main actors of the Breakfast Club? Oh, oh the Brat Pack. Yes. yes. All right. Very good. <laughs> good. Best movie ever. <laughs> right. Russell. Yep. How many times must you say Beetlejuice's name for him to appear? Five? It was three. Oh, oh shit. Right. <laughs> was you were close. Was like, maybe that was Candyman. <laughs> Candyman's three. Yeah. 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 Oh, okay, man's five. Yeah, yeah. Just three. You know, in order to do that, you got to say my name three times. The gang members in Reservoir Dogs were named after what? <sighs> uh, I guess that would be the. I mean, I don't understand the LA the LA Reservoir. No, nope. each. I'll say that again. Each gang oh, member oh, was colors. Named, colors. Colors. There we go. Okay, now I get it. Yeah, Mr. Brown. Mr. White, Mr. Blonde, Mr. Blue, Mr. Orange, and Mr. Pink. Why am I Mr. Pink? Becca. Yes. In the movie City Slickers, okay. what was the name of the calf? Of the calf? Yeah. <laughs> like, like baby cow? Yeah. yeah. Um, yeah. Wow. Oh, my goodness. Bessie. You, you guys are brutal. Yeah. I, yeah. I Don't blame it. me. I'm not the one that put these together. <laughs> I, it's Andy. He's a sadist. He is. I oh know God. other people's questions. These are, it's amazing. Yeah. You know this one, George? Yes, ago. I do. Wow. You know it? It's, it's yes, not I do. Bessie. <laughs> it's not okay. Bessie. Okay. Okay. George, know. you're not going to get any points for it, but what is the answer? Norman. Yes. Wow. That's Very good. For a Very nice. Very good. That's <laughs> impressive. Sarah. Hello. Hello. That's right. Yeah. Sarah, which capital city appears in the title of the third Fast and the Furious movie? There's so many of them now. Oh, oh. I think I know. Which capital? She, she, she's on your team. You can. Uh, it's a it's a foreign country. Yeah, that I know. <laughs> it was one in Japan. Is it that one? Yeah, maybe. Tokyo, Tokyo yes. <laughs> Tokyo. Yes! Nice well job. I, yeah, to I thought it was Tokyo, but I just, I just. Yeah, the third, the third movie is Tokyo Drift. Right. That's right. Yeah. yeah. It's because there's two. so many countries that yeah. 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 Oh yeah. My God. George. Yes. Norman. <laughs> <laughs> Beetlejuice. <laughs> Beetlejuice, Beetlejuice, Beetlejuice. <laughs> Who was the first speaking character in a Star Wars movie? I just watched it two nights ago. The first speaking character? Yeah, in the first released Star Wars movie. I know this one. You do? I tested Bill on this one last night and he got it wrong. Oh. I mean, it starts <laughs> up. The spaceship flies overhead. Yep. They're chasing each other. The Steve's fire giving a big, uh, a big hint. <laughs> what? Steve's giving a big hint there. Is it? Is, is it one of? It's one of the. It's one of the droids. Steve Curry? Oh, oh, that helps, Holly. There's only two droids in it. Only one. Of them <laughs> oh, it's a droid. <laughs> oh yeah, the furry one doesn't speak. He grunts. I'll say uh, C three PO. Yes. C three PO. Yes. C three PO. Yeah. Yeah. They shut down the main reactor before they destroyed the shore. Right. Okay, Holly, just for that. <laughs> Sorry. Here's your Sorry. question. 
<laughs> Arnold Schwarzenegger. Don't make it super hard. Don't make it hard. <laughs> yeah. Ali, here's your question. Arnold Schwarzenegger played a character named John Matrix in which 80s movie? <laughs> George knows. You can give a clue. She's on your team, George. Um... When what you're not you... wearing any underwear. I was just going to say that when you leave the house with no underwear. <laughs> Remember when I said I would kill you last? I lied. <laughs> Uh, I want to say Terminator, but I want to say also Total Recall. No, uh, it was Terminator. Yeah. It, no. was, it was Commando. Oh, uh, no. although now, now I no clothes on. Yeah, uh. yeah. Now, now I know leaving the house with no underwear is called a Terminator. There you go. <laughs> <laughs> Got it. Okay, Russell. Collateral uh -huh. damage in my case. Anyway. <laughs> Russell, the yeah. Lord of the Rings were based on novels by which author? Uh, Tolkien. Very good. Can we get more like that? Oh, <laughs> no, try and go now. No. <laughs> oh, this is fun. Right. Okay, Rob. Who directed the movie Eyes Wide Shut? Kubrick, Stanley Kubrick. Very good. Yes. Back out. What, mo <laughs> what movie is based on the life of two tennis stars and sisters? Oh, oh, oh. um, okay. Somebody um, slapped somebody recently. <laughs> yes, yes, yes. I'm the oh, we couldn't get one episode without that being mentioned. <laughs> <laughs> um, oh my goodness. You know, Will Smith was in it. That was the whole yep. debacle. Mm -hmm. uh, um, can I give an it? Please. Yeah. Somebody act it out. Okay. The, the, the title involves uh, royalty. And not a queen. <laughs> Lord. <laughs> what? Oh, my gosh. Uh, oh. I don't know if that's more confusing or helpful. Uh, Didn't take a guess? It's like on the oh. tip of my tongue. What? No. Didn't take, take a, a guess. guess. Throw one out. Last chance. Um, I, 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 I'm like totally no. <laughs> two, blank. one. I'm blank. No, no. King Richard. No. King Richard. That was not what yes. I was gonna say. Never okay. mind. <laughs> <laughs> Sarah. Yes. Who played the taxi driver escorting Tom Cruise in Collateral? Um. Um, oh, the, ooh, wait, wait, this, he's black, um, 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 oh, um, recently in a Nick, Nick Cassavetes film, I just watched him, um, Django, Django Unchained. Yeah. Uh, you're, not get, you're not getting yeah. points for naming his resume. I, <laughs> oh, God. Can um, I say um, something? Yes. Yep. A little furry creature in the woods. Long tail. Fluffy, fluffy tail. Dog hardware, cat software. It's, so it's red. It's red. Red. Yeah. Are you ready? I don't know. <laughs> Hi, Julie. Fox? It's red. There's yeah. Julie. Fox something. Fox. Oh, Julie. Yes. Hey, Julie. Hey, Julie. Hey, Julie. Yay. <laughs> Fox. What's his name? Fox. Uh, uh, uh. You had the first yep. day. Yep. Yeah, I did. I did. Um. Greeny Fox. Yes. Yes. <laughs> yeah, like I know all of his films. I don't know why his name didn't pop in my mind. It was a I great song. I missed <laughs> you. I miss you too. How are you? I'm so good. I was just about to send you a little invite. Oh, oh, for this? No, for the Promising 28th thing. of December. Oh, okay. Yeah, yeah, we'll all come. Yeah. Sounds good. Yeah. <laughs> soon as though you, soon as though you've I'll bring potato salad. Julie, salad. You've got this question. Okay, well, <laughs> we're going to have a petting farm. There was oh, lots of babies great. running around. It's the first birthday of my, my baby. Oh, girl. perfect for Ava. Okay, great. We'd Sorry. love to come. Okay, love I you. I was just organizing stuff, so it just came to my mind. Okay, love bye, you. guys. Love bye. <laughs> We're gonna have furry yes, animals. <laughs> you gonna have foxes? 
Uh, um, we're gonna have baby goats and rabbits. And for all don't talk to me about rabbits. We'll I've got put a link to where that rabbits. party is happening right below. Yeah. Hey, hey, Russell, can I ask Russell a question? Yeah. Yes. Russell, I think you've been to my house. Okay. Like about, <laughs> like about eight years ago. Do you remember we had like a lunch at the house? Do you remember? No. Did you work on a movie with Richie Salvatore? Yeah. Yeah. What, what was it called? Was it called Malone or something? Yeah, like yeah. That? Give it, give it, give him hell, Malone. Yeah, I was gonna, One I was gonna work Richard. on the script with you guys for like ten minutes. Do you remember we all sat in the backyard? All oh, right. Yes, 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 yes. yes Hi. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Anyway, yeah. just hit me. Right. Yeah. Andrew's been in my house. Andrew slept oh. on this futon right behind me. Right? Okay. <laughs> This is the craziest Oops. game show I've ever done. And it is. <laughs> and that's a story that we need to touch on another time. I'll tell you that for nothing. That sounds interesting. Definitely. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> and I'll just for that, you George. Have, I, I, have I apologize for nibbling on food. I haven't eaten today. I had a baby okay. feed before this, so sorry. That's okay. It's fine. Hungry mother. Hungry oh, by mother. the way, uh, there are certain questions that are going to be worth double points that are going to come up. Oh, there are, are yes. there? Mm. Yes. And you've got one now, George. Uh-oh. Yeah. <laughs> dun, dun, dun. George. Yes. What are the names of the twins played by Lindsay Lohan in The Parent Trap? Oh, not a clue. See, my wife would know this. <laughs> I and she says, I don't know anything. You know all this trivia. I'm gonna look like an yeah. idiot. So she knows. and then the one answer she would know for <laughs> double points, she's nowhere to be. Well, you've Too got late. two teammates, do they know? What? Um Oh God, I watched it. Wait, I Oh, God. Do you know? Jamie Foxx. Jamie Foxx. Fox. <laughs> <laughs> Not Carmen. Jamie Foxx and uh, Jamie Wolf. Yes, there you go. You give up? I, uh, uh, the Pigeon Sisters, right? Is it the right, Pigeon right. That's from, that's from uh, Odd Couple. Okay, Odd what Couple, yes. Yeah. Yeah. One of them, I have one no of them wait, I got a clue. I got a clue. I got a clue. Abbott and Costello. Yeah. <laughs> One of them shares a name with a black uh, female Oscar winner. True. Cicely Tyson. Uh, no. uh, black uh, Whoopi Monsters. Goldberg. Whoopi. Uh, she won an Oscar. Whoopi won an Oscar for Monsters her. Monsters Ball. Oh, 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 Hallie. Hallie and. Hallie mm -hmm. and Sally? No. <laughs> Hallie it was Hallie and Andy, but what? we'll give you one Hallie point. Hallie and Annie. <laughs> Hey, from from nowhere, I got one, one point. That's amazing. One point. Not a so clue. Is. Not a clue. <laughs> we'll take it. We'll take it. Holly. <laughs> yes. <laughs> what was the name of Michael B. Jordan's villain in Black Panther? Oh, crap. <laughs> That's his name. I can't believe you. <laughs> Good for you. <laughs> I have no idea. Anyone on the team confer? I want to start drinking. I'm not doing very well. <laughs> <laughs> Get, go for it. I already oh, am. You know. Have you really? Abbott and Costello, okay. god damn it. <laughs> All right. The Knox is drunk. Okay. I'll give, yeah, you, I'll, give you, I'll give you a clue. Okay. okay. You 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 have you have an iron. Mm. You have a fish. Mm. But this one is a stabby stabby. Mm. <laughs> Where's clue? God, your clue needs a clue. <laughs> it does really, doesn't it? Yeah. <laughs> okay. With a fish and a what? What is that? Uh, Abbott uh, and Costello. No idea. I no, I have no okay. idea. It was Eric Killmonger. Yep, one okay. wouldn't have gotten that at all. Monger, step in the step black oh, I see fishmonger. Nope. Fishmonger. Oh, wow. Yeah. yeah. Gotcha. yeah. Lots nope. of mongers. Nope. Okay. Yes. Nope. The black panther? Russell? Yeah. Yes. In Disney's Alice in Wonderland, oh, who was the first character to speak to Alice after she fell through the rabbit hole? Oh, um. oh, I don't get these. I mean, right. <laughs> <laughs> um, this is much harder than the sample show you should. You, you, 
you yeah. have to into, I, yeah, I gotta right. say. Do you know what? These <laughs> questions were actually a lot I easier. Feel, I was, feel swindled here a little bit. Uh, me too. Was, was it? Uh, <laughs> okay. I got tricked. Was it the cocoa? He was running really late. No. Right? Was the cocoa. Okay. What was it? Wasn't he running late? It was the doorknob. Oh, the doorknob? Doorknob. Yeah. <laughs> wow. It's like an acid <laughs> trip. <laughs> <laughs> hey, honey, you're not going to believe it, but Doorknob is talking, okay? <laughs> I well, that mushroom that really just... did me in, man. The drugs yeah, right? kicked in by then. Was like... Yeah. Okay, <laughs> Rob. Yes? What was Jason Bourne's real name? Matt Damon. Matt Damon. <laughs> uh, good answer uh, good answer but no uh, yeah no here, I, here, here, I'll give you a clue right the the full name if uh, you added one of the writers of Blade Runner uh, or even better the last name of Peoples would go on the end Last name would be David. Um, yeah, I can't get beyond David. I, I really David have no... David Webb. David Webb. Okay. okay. I, 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 that's I, the best we could come up with. <laughs> <laughs> I, how about like what comes out of a spider's ass? I, I, I didn't get a lot. Of... <laughs> I didn't get a That would make more sense. Oh, no. uh, Becca. How did Gilroy d d d direct all of those? All of them, or just one of them? No, no, you directed only one, I believe. Yeah. Oh, okay, I interviewed you. I feel like I should just tell you now, I don't know the answer. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> so, Becca. What pancakes? There we go. Yeah. <laughs> Becca, what comes out of a spider's ass? Oh, no, sorry. <laughs> <laughs> no, your question. Which actress played Bridget Jones? Oh. One point for me. Yeah. <laughs> okay, Sarah. This could be a difficult one if you've not seen the movie. In Mamma Mia. Yes. <laughs> oh, oh, okay. <laughs> I think she might know whatever this is. I think she might know. <laughs> yeah. In Mamma Mia, which character? Marries Sophie's mother Donna at the end of the story. Okay, so she's in her, she, her three past boyfriends show up. But who does she marry? Which one does she marry? Oh Lord, and I know every single song in that film too. Um, okay, which one does she marry? Um, that premature celebration at the beginning. Oh <laughs> yeah, that's a tough one because she's. In between, she goes to, the, to one, and then she decides on the other, and then she decides on the other. Now, was it our friend? It was either our friend James Bond, Pierce Brosnan. Wait, I haven't correctly answered. I'm in a dilemma here. It was either Pierce Brosnan or the um, 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 um oh, what's in Breaking the Waves uh, 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 actor? Oh God, uh. uh you remember you got teammates who can give you a clue if they know. Yeah. I think Anyone want to throw What's out a name? clue? What's his name? Uh, he's the father of the two famous young kids. Oh god. Oh. Oh, one just did a show with Nicole Kidman. Come on. Uh, 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 Breaking the waves. One of my favorite. He was in the Thor films yeah. as well. Yes. No. What? He was in the Thor films as well. What was he? Yeah. yeah. Oh, you're talking about the breaking the waves guy. Okay. Yeah. You know, I'm going to actually give Sarah this one because she did say Pierce Brosnan. So it was Pierce Brosnan. So. Yes. <laughs> oh, okay. Nice job. Thank hey, you. Very good. George, I know you love your film history. Okay. okay you're going to hit me with the one I don't know. Yes. But I also know you love science fiction as well. So. I do. Mm. So, George, your question yeah. is. What was the first ever science fiction movie in 1902? A Trip to the Moon. Very good. Wow. Yes. That's an, that was, yeah. Thanks. I would have not gotten that one. 
Yeah, I'm so George. happy you're on my team, George. I just wanted to say Thank that. Thank you. George Melier. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. My so misspent glad, youth. My misspent youth in front of a TV set. Yeah. <laughs> Holly. Yes. The 2016 film The Founder portrays the origin story of which fast food chain? McDonald's. Very good. Yes. Oh, yes. <laughs> Oh, yay! Can you believe it already? We're halfway through. Steve, how is our scores looking? At the end of round one, Team Russell is on four points. But leading the way ahead is Team Sarah with eight. There you go. Some catching up to do here. Okay. Yeah. Come on, team. Right. Okay. <laughs> we can do this, right? Yes. <laughs> we'll Second out. round. We're starting with you, Russell. Okay. Russell, which film's plot concerns the fixing of game shows in the 1950s? I just watched it literally a week ago. It was directed by Robert Redford. Oh, Robert Redford was in it. No, I think he directed it. He directed, I think he directed it. it. Yeah, I think yeah. he directed it, yeah. Good film. Fuck. Um, Great film. It's almost a trick question. It is almost a trick question. <laughs> um, it's called Game Show. No, what would it be called if it wasn't Game Show? This is our anniversary. It's like, it's not a big test. It's like a little test. Pop. Uh, hot shot. Okay, pop quiz. <laughs> pop quiz. So close. <laughs> so close. To help us. It's a mixture. Put them together. Um, um, what was the first one? If, it, if it's not a game show, it's a. Sorry, I'm going to have to ask for your answer. Quiz show. Yes. Yes. <laughs> Do I get that? Yes, we'll give you that. Wow. <laughs> <That's>, <laughs> I mean, you know what? That's, Funnily that's enough, I had, it, one there. Yeah. I had it here. That one is actually highlighted in red, so that is two points for Russell for getting that one. Oh, is it? Uh, okay. Yeah. Oh, zoomy head. Here we go. Okay. Nice job. Rob. <laughs> Who directed A League of Their Own? Penny Marshall. Very good. Very good. <laughs> Very good. Yeah. Becca. Ready. I wish I had a cow behind me so I could, will you shut up? <laughs> will you shut up? <laughs> <laughs> My favorite moment. A penny saved is a penny marshal. Yes. Okay, Becca. What okay. is the name of the actress who played Abigail in The Favorite? Ooh. Sorry. Great film. Even... <laughs> I don't think I even know that movie. So, um. Remember, we always used to talk about La La Land. Do you think so? the Pottywood quiz is rigged? Is it? Oh, that's a big clue. Oh, was it Emma Stone? Hey, I, I, I didn't say that. I said I was just like throwing it out there as a memory. Yeah. That's who I'll go with. <laughs> yeah, okay. Emma Stone, that's fine. Well done. Well done. <laughs> okay. And the Queen was someone who just played Queen on the Crown. Didn't she? No, no, not on the Crown. She played it somewhere else. And what do you do? Yes. <laughs> yes. <laughs> yes. <laughs> okay, Sarah. Yes. Who played Ebenezer Scrooge in the Muppet Christmas Carol? Oh, Lord. It's got so many other people here. I can see them like, we know who it is. We know who it is. I'm not certain. I'm not certain either. Um... If, it, if it's not your cocaine, whose is it? <laughs> Oi, it's about time. That you got this bloody question right. <laughs> <laughs> oh, there goes Mr. Humbug. There goes Mr. Grim. Was there a mutiny? There very well may have oh. been. Okay, you've you got give up, Sarah. three. It's fine. it's fine to give up. Elfie. Two. I can One. picture. See what, I mean? See what I mean? Russell's already helping the other team. 
we need all the help we can get, so. It was Michael. It was Michael Caine. That's what I meant by mutiny. Oh, man! Caine yeah. mutiny. Yes. Okay. And the impersonation of Bob was Oh, of course. George. I, mean, well, I, was in the, I was in a production of the Caine mutiny. It was brilliant. I loved it. So much wonderful dialogue. Yeah. 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 Yes, it is George's time right. and Steve's finished. <laughs> <laughs> the strawberries. That's where I had them. I fooled them using geometric logic. Yes, yes, yes. <laughs> okay, George. Yes. What was Paul Newman's last movie role? Oh. Where the money is? No, I'll give you a clue because it can be a tricky answer. It was a voiceover. Oh, oh no, I have no clue. Uh, no, I was gonna say then the road to perdition, but no. Um, yeah, that was his last so live action. Yeah. Oh, he provided the voice. Don't I get half a point for that? I'm sorry. Okay, wait. Uh, <laughs> nope. <laughs> it was live at. It was what a voiceover. It was. It was a CGI animated movie. Wow. That's the clue I'll give you. A CGI animated movie. Paul Newman. Sorry, I'm going to have to ask for your answer. Guys, I, uh, Sarah, does anybody know? Nobody on your team know? Okay. Mm -hmm. The answer is cars. I can't believe this. I knew you needed a crew chief, but I didn't know it was this bad. Disney oh, no. <laughs> Wait, well, like Doc. That's yeah. right. Yeah. That's right. I'm starting uh, not to like this game. <laughs> <laughs> See, loads of people You're on the winning was... team at the moment. <laughs> oh, are we? Okay. Yeah. <laughs> All right. I like Holly, it a little bit. I want to stay there. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Holly, this question's right up your street. Okay. In Finding Nemo. Okay. Paul Newman. No, sorry. <laughs> How many white stripes does Nemo have? Oh, crap. Uh... <laughs> So you tell me you were the expert on all these kids' movies I know, and stuff. I, know. <laughs> I don't pay attention to what he looks like. I just listen to him. <laughs> Take uh, a guess. Uh, six. It was three. Three! I thought it was Good. three. Oh, well. Sorry, Nemo. I'm fish. <laughs> Sorry, Nemo. Russell? Yep. <laughs> this might be one of the hard ones. Oh, by the way, I forgot <laughs> to tell you. Oh, it doesn't matter. He didn't get it right. It's fine. Right, Russell. Uh, how many tributes survived the first day of the Hunger Games? This is just a tribute. Mm. <laughs> I'll give you a clue. It's a it's a double figure. Uh huh. Uh -huh. Between. <laughs> I, I, I... Between between ten and twelve. <laughs> so eleven, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god how much of a giveaway was that yeah. I, I, wasn't ex wrote. I wasn't i wasn't expecting to be asked a question back i panic <laughs> it's a very good tactic if you would have got that wrong that would have been hilarious oh, okay, rob yes ryan reynolds starred with melissa george in which 2005 horror remake I know you like your horrors. If any of his team know, I can throw him a clue. The estate? Mm, kind of. 2005. I can't think of Ryan Reynolds in any horror movie. Apart from Green Lantern. <laughs> Why did uh, know that? Yeah, no, I'm. I, I really am a blank. I'm afraid I'm a blank. Yeah. It was the Amateurville Horror. Oh, oh okay. Yeah. Well, one of them is made every week. I was uh, going to say they remade that again. Okay. Becca. <clears throat> okay. I, I'm going to be so disappointed if you do not get this one right. No, the pressure's on. Uh, I know you will. What teen flick about high school students? was inspired by Jane Austen's Emma. Can you repeat the question? Yes. <laughs> what teen flick 
about high school students was inspired by Jane Austen's Emma. That's Emma. <laughs> um, hmm. Not Sense and Sensibility. <laughs> Any of her team? Was it a musical idea? movie? I'm not sure how to give a hint. Can we say the actor, actress who was in it? Be, that could be a bit of a giveaway. Pushing it too much. Uh, That's okay. Between 10 and 12 <laughs> is a little bit of a giveaway. Yeah, I, I think um, you can give at least the actress for. Right. And if, if I'm right, um, Lindsay Lohan. Oh, I'm not. I'm wrong anyway. Okay. So, so. Okay. Would you say that um, you, you're kind of stuck? You're kind of not sure what the answer is. Uh, you're um, a bit lost, <laughs> confused. <laughs> there's, there's a, if if you're missing a popular detective board game, you are oh, okay. Oh, clueless. <laughs> How did you get that from that? Oh my gosh. Oh my god. Yes, it was clearly. Okay. Nicely done. You could have just said it's the way you're feeling right now. <laughs> okay, just... okay, I was saying uh... that. Okay, Sarah. Hmm. Who played the Prime Minister in Love Actually? Oh, uh, Hugh Grant. Very good. <laughs> Very good. 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 Uh, okay. I I George. Out. Oh, what? <laughs> and it's not Newman. <laughs> <laughs> what iconic movie franchise has been around even longer than James Bond? Oh, oh no. Longer than James Bond? Bond started in what, 62? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Does it, oh! So, what movie character is still appearing in movies today? I wish it was the one Carry On film. So that's not going to happen. One currently, one currently in post production. Nope. And it's around today. Oh yeah. Yes. I. I there is a clue, but it may be too much of a clue. But I. I oh, think... between eleven and twelve. Oh yeah. Or whatever. Exactly. <laughs> I was just about to say. Okay. Um, it's Japanese. Oh, Godzilla. Yes. Oh, wow. <laughs> oh, Godzilla, 1954. And that was worth two points, by the way, Steve. Oh, was it? Okay, let's add another one. Uh, okay. My my what stepson has got like a little around? Godzilla Godzilla's money box and Batman comes out and takes the money. Well, when That's did very, Batman I start? That. How long has Batman been around? Batman's been around forever. I thought it went Batman. Since the 40s, yeah, for the 40s, yeah. I guess, yeah. But they got yeah, to that's true. That's yeah. true. Yeah. That was yeah, a but there's not. Question, though, <laughs> like there's not really been Batman movies for that long, though. So. Ah. Uh, like when I was a kid, the black I and saw white the, the, we had the There were the serials in the forties. Yeah. Yeah. So yeah. When I was a kid, I saw, I saw Godzilla so many times, I started to memorize it. Wow. Tokyo, cool. once a city of six million people, what has happened here was done by a force that up until a few hours ago I mean, I mean i watched it so many raymond bird did the narration right yeah i've in being to rob's house he has one of the most incredible collections of godzilla stuff is that <laughs> right I've ever seen. oh yeah except he's the never fun. seen godzilla versus the smoke monster <laughs> I bet he has. Which is one of my favorites. A yeah, classic. Yeah. Yes, that's what. You see that one? The, yes, you with the all the things hanging. Turd. Yes. Yeah. Who has the Godzilla memorabilia? You said who is it? That's that me. would be Rob. Yeah. Oh, you do? Yeah. Actually, oh. I'm gonna get the show suffer. <laughs> Go ahead, while Holly sweats, what her question's gonna be. <laughs> yeah, yeah, okay. it's, it's it's starting right there. It's coming yeah. down. Yeah. Oh, what's he got? Oh, oh my! Oh, oh Godzilla wow. versus oh, Kong! Nice. Look at that! Oh. Nice. What? Wow! Right. <laughs> <laughs> nice. I want to see. Oh. I want to see Godzilla meets this guy. The graphic oh, artist. there you go. Oh, Ray wow. yes. oh cool! Yeah, very, very nice. Have have you seen what they did? Where they upped it up to I think it was like sixty frames per second on the animation, and it just made it so much more smoother. Yeah, 
it it looked it looks so much nicer, but that Very jerky cool. stuff has so much character to it. It's but amazing. It's quite, a, quite a genius, that man. Oh yeah. Yes. yeah. <laughs> anyway, okay, whose question? It's Holly's question. <laughs> it's Holly's question. Holly. Yeah. What movie has the highest on-screen body count of all time? And no, it's not Oppenheimer. <laughs> that would have been a good one. Body count, as in dead yes. bodies. Yes, and it's not animated. That's but I will go. Is. I will go as far to say probably most of them are CGI. Ooh. Is it a war film? Kind of. I would say, but not kind of a, a a war set in the current time. Steve is kind of an expert on these movies. Yes, that's Steve. Am I? <laughs> yeah. This is news to me. I, I will also say it is um I think this may have won Best Picture, or it was up for Best Picture, but it is one of the biggest Academy Award winning movies of that year. Steve so knows what an, it is already. It won an Academy Award? <laughs> is it one of those like World War Two movies? No. Oh, okay. If I'm right, uh, I'm gonna, you, I'm gonna, I'll take a guess. I'll take but, a guess. Um, save it, pri saving Private Ryan. Nope, it was Lord of the Rings: Return of the King. Yeah. Uh, okay. oh, really? Yeah. yeah. What the highest body count? count? Yep. Which is all well, armies um, wiped out, yeah. Yep. I, I, yeah. I, I could contest that possibly, but uh... no, go on, go on, George. You, well, you, at the you end gotta... of Doctor Strange, love the entire planet dies, so that'd be about six billion people, right? So yeah, but you don't see Top them die on six screen. billion. <laughs> <laughs> uh... Okay, Russell. What is the name of Humphrey Bogart's character in Casablanca? You got me on blank. Um, um, oh, uh, everybody goes to. It's gone completely blank. It's on the tip of my tongue. This is embarrassing. No, this happen. This happens to everybody with some of the most basic of... questions. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah, we know what film it is. It's the name he's gotta nice, get. Man. I keep thinking of Peter Lorre screaming his name as they were carrying him away. Yeah. Um, um but before <laughs> he gives up, any of his team members able to give him a good hint? Can he can he it's the name Blanks Cafe American. Does that help? Nearly. It's not Harry's, not Sam. It's gonna have to hurry, Russell. Yeah, I'm sorry. Wow. Go on. Rick Blaine. Uh, right, thank you. Rick, you got to Rick. help me, Rick. You must, you must hide me. <laughs> hide me, Rick. <laughs> yes. <laughs> Very good. Everyone can Rob. repeat a lorry, can they? <laughs> Rob, this is a bit of a difficult one for you. Okay. What movie holds the Guinness World Record for the biggest stunt explosion in cinema history? Uh, so this would be like a real practical yes. explosion. It's a tough one, but take, take, take a ghost yeah. of a question. Yeah. Uh, take a ghost of a guess. Uh, <laughs> you can only think of Hooper. <laughs> I'm sure that's not it. No, uh, that's not it. Yeah. Um. Any of his team have an idea? Was that a hint you gave? I, I may have given a, a hint. What was the hint? That <laughs> ghost? Take a ghost of a guess. Oh, take a ghost of a guess. Ghost. 
<laughs> gonna have to press you for your answer. Yeah, we got a rubber duck. Yeah. No, I don't. Nope. I don't know. It nope. was Spectre. <laughs> I'm sorry? Spectre. Uh, the James Spectre. Bond movie. Oh, okay. Oh, Spectre I'll just make the yeah. ghost. Okay. okay. Yeah. Becca. Yes, sir. Which? Sorry. No idea what that was. What was that? <laughs> I thought it was an ice cream truck or something. <laughs> uh, which Shakespearean actor directed the first Thor movie? Mm. Uh, well, I would no. just say, like, Branagh. Yes, correct. Yes. Hey, yes. did wow. you see that? Didn't even uh, take me that long. <laughs> brilliant. That's great. Trust, trust your instincts. Good job. Go. Okay, Sarah. <clears throat> the Magnificent Seven is a remake of which iconic Japanese movie? Japanese movie. Yes. Um, the, there's a clue in the question there. Ask me the question again. The Magnificent Seven is a seven. remake of which iconic seven, Japanese yeah, seven movie? Sam seven Samurais. Very good. Very good. Nice job. Very good. <laughs> I love the director of the, the Japanese, the original. Okay. That's great. George. Yes. If you damn can you, get... damn you, damn you, yes. <laughs> if you can get. <laughs> I'm going to do something good for you here. If you can get all four of the titles for this question I'm going to ask you, you will get four points. Oh, no if question. You, wow. If wow. you don't get all four titles, and you only get some of them, you only get one point. Okay. Yeah. Okay? How many movies have De Niro and Pacino starred in together? How many? Yeah. Yes. Uh, Heat, Righteous Kill... Godfather 2. One uh, more. One more. God damn you. Uh, De Niro and Pacino. <laughs> All my Italian-American friends are screaming at me right now. You fucking <laughs> asshole. <Come on. laughs> you wait till De Niro comes around to your house again. I know. <laughs> I know. <laughs> He's my buddy, too. I should know this. <laughs> You'd just be like, how the fuck did you get that wrong? George, George. What the fuck? George, was it something that fuck? was recent? Uh, was it something that was relatively recent? Not that long ago. Oh. What? Help me. Help me. We're teammates. If you've got a clue, give him a clue. Okay. Um... This one also had uh, Nicholson in it, Jack. No, 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 it's not no, that no, one? no, wrong one, wrong one, one. Oh, sorry, but, wrong one. But was it, it, had, the Irish it did, one? it did have. Irish one together? Oh, sorry, sorry, wait. <laughs> <laughs> oh, wait, the Irishman. Hey! <laughs> Fuck, I went to the premiere. <laughs> the Irishman? Oh, yes, the Irishman. It's the Irishman, but you were talking about the deposit with Nicholson. <laughs> Yes, uh, the Irishman. The Irish. I don't know. Steve. What? We're, we're you know, I'm, with you on that I, one. I, I am I am going to give him that one. That okay. was hard fought for. And yet, yeah, um, I think, Sarah, your clue was just way out in left field. So I don't really <laughs> yeah. think that clue counted. <laughs> Sorry, I was, yeah, I was. No, Sarah, thank you. Jack Nicholson was in it, but Jack Nicholson wasn't. Okay, sorry. He, he was. He was. He was a. <laughs> He was a catering. He stopped by, but he <laughs> <laughs> keeps low key nowadays. Yeah. Holly, yeah, who became the first woman to win a Best Director Oscar in two thousand ten? Oh, I know this one. Uh, uh, I think there's Catherine, only been one. <laughs> Catherine, Catherine. Oh my God, I can't remember her last name. Uh, it's for the Hurt Locker. Uh, yeah, uh, Catherine. You oh. European <laughs> gigolo. <laughs> Two in Spanish. No, it was uh, a... so, oh. sounds like gigolo. <laughs> I think 
Catherine. Can I Bigelow? give a hint? Bigelow. Bigelow. Yeah. Bigelow. You did it. You did it. <laughs> I got it. Big fat clues going. Across. I know. Okay. <laughs> La- last I time around. Do I get an extra point for that? Come on. No. 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 Okay. The last time going around is here. So let's make it count. Okay. Russell. Uh-huh. Cole Trickle is Tom Cruise's character in which movie? Who? Cole Trickle was the name of Tom Cruise's character in which movie? <laughs> you may not have heard of it because you were in Argentina doing Highlander 2 at the time. Oh, my God. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> so, so, at, at least so I know the year. You. Yeah. <laughs> um, <that> time. <laughs> and phones were cut off when I was down there. So yeah. Yes. Um, no idea. Any of his in, teammates? In, sorry. When was it? When was it done? When was it done? Nineteen ninety. Eighty nine. Yeah. Nineteen ninety. Eighty nine. Ninety. Oh, I mean, I can. I can start rattling off movies around the time you can stop me. <laughs> as it as it's the last round, if you get the name of the title right, Becca, it'll count for Russell. So throw one out there. I'm trying to think nineties. Like I'm thinking like there's um oh, there's ones you. like cocktail. It's a cocktail. Nope. And then there's um It was oh, Tom Hanks. One, one last guess. Come on. Throw one out there. Days of Thunder? Who said that? Rob did, so I guess we can give him that. (laughs) Okay. (laughs) It was Days of Thunder. Okay. Rob, what was the first movie to use profanity? Oh, what a great question. Um, Who's afraid of Virginia Woolf? No, no, it was Gone with the Wind. Wow. Uh, Frankly, my dear, I don't give a damn. I don't give a damn. Yeah. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Oh, damn, okay. Interesting. Becca, you've got a chance for two points here. Okay. Make it count. What does the American Film Institute class as the number one most inspirational film of all time? There's so many inspirational films. Why do you pick one? Right? There are. It's so not fair to just pick one. I mean, we can yeah. ring them and ask them later how they chose this is, one. Is it, is, it, is, it, is it black and white? Yes. Earth versus the flying saucers. <laughs> <laughs> I was going to say, it's not Evil Dead then. Okay. <laughs> okay. <laughs> but black and white. I mean, I would say like Casablanca or something like that. No, no. no. Is this for anybody that, that, that was not her answer. That was not her answer. She was oh, okay, right. okay. It wasn't. It was not my answer. Uh, um, is no. this for any? Can any of us answer? Uh, What's we, going we on? Can give hints, can't we? Yeah, you can give. You can give her hints. Yeah. Give her hints. Yeah. Okay. We'll, give, we'll give like wonderful hints. Yeah. yeah. So uh, it's. Um, I'm gonna guess it's a Christmas time movie. Oh, it's a wonderful movie. life. It's a wonderful life. Yes. Good yeah. for you. It's wonderful. I said, was I was going to say, Russell. Merry is Christmas a clue. movie house. That was a clue from <laughs> Russell. Was that the clue? Sorry. Yeah. <laughs> Sarah. Queen provided the soundtrack for which film starring Christopher Lambert and Sean Connery? Oh shit, I was just going to say Wayne's World before you even asked the question, but obviously not. I'm not saying Wayne's World, but I'm thinking, you know, the car You scene. need to get this right, no pressure. You, you, you <laughs> really need to get oh, this one right. Just, this is very important. Okay, Christopher Lambert and who? Sean Connery. No, no giving her hints. She's got to get this one. Oh, Christopher Lambert and Sean Connery. Yes. yes. And Queen did the soundtrack. Yes, Queen did where the he soundtrack. played a Spanish Egyptian, yes. The only thing I've ever seen Christopher Lambert in is the Highlander stuff. Oh, yes! yes! <laughs> 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 <laughs>
Never lose your temper. If your head comes away from your neck, it's over. <laughs> I, I love the fact that Russell was there like, you better for this. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I think of anything else I've seen him in. That's the only things I've seen him in. Yeah. Very good. <laughs> Worked out. <laughs> All right, my team. I did it. Sorry. Okay, so the last two questions on this round, one for George and one for Holly, they are worth two points each. Okay. That doesn't mean they're going to be easy. So, George. Yeah. In which movie <laughs> would you so? In which movie? Yeah, would you what? <laughs> Get it over with. It's like being at the goddamn dentist. Just be the shot. Let's go. In which movie would you associate the saying, oh, Captain, my Captain? Uh, Robin Williams, uh, Dead Poet Society. Correct. Yes. Points. Uh. Holly, how many suspects were there in the usual suspects? Seven? No, it was five, unfortunately. <laughs> uh, <laughs> Steve. <goodness. laughs> Steve. What are the scores? At the end of round two, Team Russell is on 14 points, but Team Sarah is just inching ahead with 17. We have nine questions left. And we're doing our quick fire round here. Now, what we usually do for our quick fire round, the first person to say out their own name by Steve. saying, example, Andrew, Steve, whoever. Out of the contestants only, Steve. Lord of the Rings. The first name that we hear gets to answer that question and they get the point. Yeah. And seeing as though it's a 100 episode, each question, well, each answer is going to be worth two points. So, Team Russell has a chance to catch back up here. Are we ready? Yes. Okay. Yeah. First question. Which Japanese horror involved a girl climbing through a TV? So. Sarah. Russell. The ring. Correct. Mm -hmm. Yes. Nice. Okay. Question. It's weird, it's weird calling out your own name. <laughs> <laughs> Russell, what? <laughs> okay, carry on. Okay. I'm over that now. Question number two. Leatherface is a character from which franchise? Russell. Uh, Russell, called Russell called it first. Russell called it. Russell. Texas Chainsaw Massacre. Very good. Yep. Oh, he's he's on fire. He's on fire. They've caught up now. We got to be quick. We are even now. Okay. Question number three. The Green Mile was adapted from a novel by which author? Ah, George. 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 Stephen George King. Got it. Stephen King. Correct. Very good. Number four. What is the name of Ripley's cat in Alien? Rob. Uh, oh, uh, George. Um, no, um, Rob got um, it. Uh, 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 Bigsy. Or D Dixie. Rob, Rob, no, Rob got it. Rob, Rob, got, Rob it. got it. Got it. Good. You got it. Fuck it. Rob. Jonesy. Jonesy. <laughs> God damn it. Very yeah. good. <laughs> Fuck Ridley Scott and Hope. <laughs> <laughs> And the cat lived. Yes. Yeah. Lived to the sequel. Yes. Fun, right. Funnily enough, I, I I'm resting my laptop as I'm recording this on top of a, of an alien board game, and I'm looking hey. at a picture of the cat right now. <laughs> <laughs> Number five. Kiefer Sutherland is a vampire in what movie? I got it. Lost Boys. Who did you hear, Steve? I heard Russell I... first. I'm sorry. Okay. Sure? The, the Lost Boys. The Lost Boys, yes. Yep. you got to call out your own name first. Yeah, okay, I call so myself right. Jones. <laughs> <laughs> I did, I'll just have to scream louder. <laughs> I'll just okay. stay quiet so that I don't cover up anybody else saying their name. 
Oh, have I jumped in? Okay, sorry. Uh, number six. I'll be quiet. Which actor played Moses in the Ten Commandments? George! Right. George got George. it. Uh, Charlton Heston. Correct. Emilio Estevez played which outlaw in Young Guns? Rob. Rob? Rob? Billy the Kid. Correct. Good. See, when you're all under pressure of other people competing <laughs> against you, you're getting the answers like that. Halleck, General H.W. Halleck. You have 21! What is the second rule of Fight Club? Holly. Holly? Uh, uh, we don't talk about Fight Club. Well, in that case, you're losing two points. Oh. <laughs> no, no, that's correct. Second rule of Fight Club is you do not talk about Fight Club. Two points. Oh, good. <laughs> I was going to say oh, that's I what that I thought was it was. the first rule. Wasn't that the first that rule? The first rule. <laughs> this first rule and the it's second both. one is you don't talk oh, about it. Oh. Okay. Mm. Robert De Niro played which boxer in Raging Bull? George. Right. George got yep. it. Jake LaMotta. Very good. Finally, last question. Rosebud. <laughs> Wait till I've asked the question, George. We need continuity. Beetlejuice. <laughs> last juice, question. <laughs> what does Robert De Niro tell Charles Grodin? George. Is... <laughs> I wrote the fucking movie. I know this. Is... <laughs> yeah, but let what did the, he actually let me, tell let him though? Question. Let me get the question out first. <laughs> you've, got, you've got the right to answer. What does Robert De Niro tell Charles Grodin he's going to suffer with if he carries uh, on? George, uh, Charles Grodin, uh, De Niro says you're going to suffer from fistophobia. Yes, correct. Very good. <laughs> nice. Steve. If I got that one wrong, I should really fucking retire. <laughs> <laughs> And at the end of the game, Team Russell has scored 24 points, but this week's winner, with astonishing 27 points, is Team Solo! Well, congratulations, Team Hennessy. A very yes, hard well done. Miserations, Team Russell, sorry. <laughs> yes. <laughs> Unfortunately, in a quiz, there has to be a winner and there has to be a loser. That's However, true. even though you have lost this quiz, you are still winners with us in our hearts. <laughs> yes. <laughs> it just doesn't pay anything. No, <laughs> no, it doesn't. <laughs> so, with that in mind, uh, we do want to say thank you for everyone doing And obviously, we're going to do a quick uh, once around now because we can actually talk about the projects that we're on about or if we've got stuff that's due to be released. Yes, yes, like we that. can. So, we're, we've got to take advantage of it. So, uh, as we start and go around, okay, Russell, uh, what have you got coming up? What have you got coming out? What do you want to tell people to go and check out? Uh, I think I'm going back to Australia next year to, to do a film, which would be nice. I haven't been back there since the pandemic, so looking forward to going Lovely. back to Australia for a little while. Nice. Well, keep keep me informed. I'll, I'll let everyone know informed. what that movie is when it yeah. goes ahead. Uh, Rob, what about you? What have you got going on? Uh, I'm editing a um, three-hour miniseries for uh, PBS about the confluence of art and science. Um, so that'll be on sometime next year. It's yeah, it's it's really fun. I'm really enjoying it. So yeah, I'll let you all know when it's uh, when it's up. Yeah, that sounds awesome. awesome. Definitely cool. fantastic. Okay, Becca, I I know you've been busy. Uh, we've been talking about it quite a lot. So what have you got coming up? I don't feel like I've been very busy, but my house <laughs> is pretty clean. Um, <laughs> thanks for the break. <laughs> Um, but I, yeah, I actually, it's exciting to get to talk about projects now because I will be doing one. I just finished filming like the concept trailer for a film called From the Hamptons to Harlem, which was just at AFM, what, two weeks ago, I guess at this point, and got some huge momentum, which is really exciting. So I'll be working on that next year um, with a fantastic cast and that's kind of it <laughs> like, okay. that I know of for sure that I could talk about so yeah it does it, it looks absolutely fabulous uh we're really looking forward to seeing it uh yeah. Sarah uh, you're you're a busy bee what have you been up to recently 
Well, maybe not too. Well, SAG after has been on strike, so we have not been very busy. Right. So I've been busy with my baby, but other than that, um, I, well, we shot the surprise visit in the pandemic, and um, and um, that is out on VOD now. So check it out. It's a little indie thriller, and mm-hmm. um, I am in talks to do another real life story of a woman who was trying to save animals and got sent to a maximum security prison in America. Oh wow! Teach what? Her. Yeah, real life That'll story. That'll teach her to save animals. <laughs> it's crazy. <laughs> yeah, it is. Very, it is really crazy. Um, yeah, because yeah, it's just animal control is out of control, and uh, and she she unearthed some things that they didn't want to get out there, and uh, and they kind of threw her in prison. So yeah, it's a, it's a very interesting story. So I'm. Hopefully, we were hoping for a December shoot, but that's not going to happen now. So probably early next year, sometime. So I'm nice that one. Yeah. Yeah. Well, keep us informed. Cool. Right. Hmm? If we'll saving animals were a crime in California, my wife would have gotten the gas chamber. By now. <laughs> <laughs> right. Yeah. Yeah. Well, well George. I have nothing going on. I'm unhirable. Nobody wants me. Uh, (laughs) I've got uh, I've got a couple of three movies that I I don't know which one's going to go first. But so, uh, you know, I feel bad saying one over another. And I hope the comeback trio comes out. It's tied up in litigation. Yes, it is a great movie. Yeah. Thanks. Yes. Yeah, it's Um, Sarah. Sarah saw too. Yeah, I did a film with I did. I wrote and directed a film called The Comeback Trail with Robert De Niro, Tommy Lee Jones, Morgan Freeman, mm-hmm. Zach Braff, a great cast, Emil right. Hirsch, and it's tied up in fucking litigation. So anyway, yeah. go figure. Yeah. But you, you yeah. can go over to Europe and see it, though, which is a strange yes, thing. Yeah, yes, you, you could. Or you can come yeah. over to yeah. my house. There, there's endless screenings at my house. <laughs> <laughs> You've only seen it 15 times? You know, sit down. I'll show it to you again. <laughs> you, might make, you might make the 6 o'clock if you hurry. Right. Yes, right. Yes. If you really hurry. I'll we bring the potato salad. The there you go. Exactly. Yes. <laughs> and, of course, Holly... Uh, it was it was great to actually meet you while I've been out here in LA just recently, and uh, you're looking so excited to be getting back to work now. So, what's on the uh, radar for yourself? Um, nothing at the moment. I mean, you know, being being on the other side of the camera, it takes a little longer for us to get hired, kind of thing. Um, but something will pop up for sure. I mean, I'm still waiting for. Uh, the edits and everything to be finished with a movie I worked on last year called Little Death um, with uh, David Schwimmer and uh, Jenna Malone. Um, so hopefully that'll be released, which will be really cool. Um, but other than that, I'm I'm waiting. <laughs> <laughs> I'm excited to go back to work. I want to go back to work so bad. <laughs> so yeah. Well, uh, I want to say uh, it's been great having you here. It's a great time at the moment because uh, with the strike sending, we're all kind of anxious to get back to working on something. Uh, so we want to say thank you for this being among the first things uh, that you have done post-strike. I mean, it was only yes. two days ago, but by the time everyone sees this, it's going to be closer to Christmas. But trust me, it it's uh, it happened. <laughs> we <laughs> haven't all forgotten yet. Yeah, and we're all rolling into next year with a lot of high hopes. Uh, I also want to say uh, thank you uh, to Sarah, George, Russell, and Holly. I had a fantastic time meeting you all out here. And uh, Rob and Becca, it's it's been too long. We need another trip to New York. Be great. Absolutely. Well, we're here waiting for you. So <laughs> <laughs> that's what everyone says, but normally they're debt collectors. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> So, uh, Steve, remind all our viewers where they can find us. Okay, well, usually at this point when we talk about the socials and everything, it's a great big close-up of my face, but it isn't. So we're going to have to put it down below, and it's going to have to cut off two of our ladies. I do apologize, but you can get all our socials on Facebook, X. It, it's Twitter. It's still Twitter. I don't care what you call it. It's Twitter. Uh, you can get us on our uh, Reddit page and LinkedIn and all the rest. 
and uh, you can also get hold of our Patreon, which uh, lets you get hold of our audio episodes a little bit earlier than normal, as well as extra content which is going out there. Check it out. Give us a give us the support. It's only a price of a cup of coffee, and you get loads of content in exchange. And with that in mind, uh, Merry Christmas and Happy New Year to all our viewers. And, yes. Uh, we will see you all in 2024. Personally. Oh, now I want it to <laughs> no. go on forever, you know? Yeah. Right. Uh, we can't. I, I'm, I got a King's Ten game in a couple ago, of hours. I couldn't wait for it to end. <laughs> oh, God. Now I don't want to say goodbye. You can, you can hang around after we finish recording. It's fine. Okay, great. <laughs> but for now, though, take care of yourself. Bye. 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 <laughs>